Hey y'all, I know it's been a while since y'all have heard from me, but honestly, I've been so busy with so many different things, and I promised you all I would do a video about what I used to pass my HESI exit exam the third time around. Um, as you all know from my previous videos, I did struggle with the exit HESI. I stated that the HESI exam period was just not my friend. For some reason, it seemed like I could never really conquer it. But um, this last go round, I knocked it out the ballpark, y'all. So I'm going to share with you all what I used to study and what helped me to pass it the last time first i have this saunders comprehensive review it's for the inclex exam however we used the saunders online program which is pretty much a mirror of this book right here so I got this, uh, I bought this a while ago on Amazon, of course, and there's a new edition. I think the sixth edition is now out, and so a lot of people are buying that. However, you can't go wrong with this one. This is the fifth edition, okay? You cannot go wrong with that. It's thick as hell, and you're not going to do every single question in this book, okay? So... I would advise you not to try. I mean, you can do as many as you want or try to do as many as you can before you get to the exit HESI, but it's a lot of questions in here. So I would suggest you to focus on the areas that you know you're weak in, okay? Another book I used to help me is this right here. Now, this is the HESI comprehensive review and it's also for the NCLEX but a lot of people use this to study for the HESI exam it is a lot smaller as you can see and I think there's a new edition for this as well this is the fourth edition I'm sure the fifth edition is out because I bought this stuff a while ago and so I'm gonna tell you what I did differently because I know I probably told you that I did some questions I also used the, what is it, yourbestgrade.com. I'm not sure if that helped me or not, y'all. I can't say I'm not sure. I don't know. But you can give it a try. It costs, I was at a point where I felt like I was desperate and I just wanted to pass this test once and for all. So I did pay $90 for it. It's good for up to a year. So I'm going to use it to help me prepare for the NCLEX. But... That's also another thing I use. And let's see. I finished school in December. I took the Hearst Review. The first week in January. Uh, we started on the 3rd. January, January 3rd. I want to say. So, And it was a 3 day live review. I did the live review. We took that on the 3rd fourth and fifth so yes it's a three-day review course and I did that I felt a lot better going into my last exit HESI this time around I um took my exit HESI I want to say two days after I finished the Hearst review so I had time, or no, it was the next week actually, the next week. So I had time to come home, review the material again, and review the second part of the Hearst review material that they put online. So I did that. I continued to do questions in these both of these books. I went online and saw the areas that I, were, that I was weak in. Peds was one of them. Psych was another one. And let's see, um, 
some areas I had done good in the first time and I done worse in them the first the second time than I did in the first time I didn't understand that but the things like um neuro what else um endocrine sens sensory yeah things like that so even though I did do well in those areas the first time and I did not so well in them the second time around I went ahead and reviewed them uh, GI another one that I struggled with for some reason GI um, I think I just had forgotten a lot of the material so I'm not just gonna tell you what I use I'm gonna tell you how I use it because I know a lot of people use these same two books and I listened to them when they said they used these two books and they just did a bunch of questions and maybe that worked for them but that didn't work for me okay and if you're like me and you may have taken one class at a time or you might have sat out or you had to repeat a class you don't retain the material as much as the people who have gone straight through without having to repeat a class and I think that may have been something that affected me because y'all I've always taken one class per semester and then as you all know I had to retake OB and P's so I think that pushed me behind and I lost some of the material that I learned and so I simply just needed a review I didn't know that I thought I could do like everybody else and just go answer a bunch of questions and be straight I really thought that I could do that I did improve by what 50 points 60 points the second time I took it but it just wasn't enough so I had to figure out what I was doing wrong and what I was doing wrong is that I needed a review badly so I didn't just use these books for questions y'all I actually went I put tabs flags whatever you want to call them let me just show it to y'all I have flags for the specific areas that I struggled in and I reviewed those areas I didn't just do questions I actually went in and reviewed them and Let's see. Let me show y'all something in here. Oh, reproductive too. I don't know how I did poorly in reproductive. But you know, sometimes there's not even a whole bunch of questions. There might be like two or three questions. And if you get one wrong, then it'll score you poorly in that area. So this is a reproductive system. I had this one flagged. As you can see, it has um, a couple pages like these review areas. These green areas are your HESI hint. These are the important areas and important information that they feel you need to know. Um, different things like that. So I definitely studied those green boxes too. Here's another page right here talks about uh cervix of the can cancer of the cervix i'm sorry and so after i reviewed the areas in each area i would take a break and then i would come back and do questions in those areas so these are what the questions look like you have the questions on top up here and then the answers are down here at the bottom so I did that and I did the same thing with the Saunders book now as I said I had to take my class had to take a senior capstone course and it's geared towards helping us pass the NCLEX exam so a lot of the stuff we had on that program is in this book it's made by Saunders also but they have an online version of this and there's there's videos there are different sections and they break them down per section and so I started reviewing those sections to where I was weekend and then I went back and did questions y'all so 
don't just do questions okay i know some people say i just did a bunch of questions the more questions you do the better it is if you might have lost some of the material you might not have retained it like you thought you did or you're trying to figure out why it is that you can't get through it and you can't do the questions and pass the test like everybody else then you need to get in there and review 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 write notes down on the things that you miss also the second time around i wrote down the questions that i missed yes i did i wrote down the questions that i missed and i went back and tried to find that information for some things i did for some things i couldn't really get a straightforward answer um as far as uh, it wasn't specific enough to the question that I had on the HESI, but I wrote it down and I studied that as well. I did the yourbestgrade.com. I did questions on that after I reviewed, okay? I went back, I reviewed, and then I did questions, okay? So that's what I did differently this third time around. And also, I took the Hearst review. So I will advise you that if you're going into your last semester, the Hearst review might be helpful for you because it is a general review of everything. And it also is a review of the things you learned in your last semester, but you might understand it better once you get to your last semester. You might not struggle as badly as some of us have because as some of you may know, this last semester can be a beast. So that's what I did, y'all. I'll be back to just catch up with y'all. I know it's been a while. It's been a minute. I didn't mean to leave y'all hanging like that. But hopefully you haven't gotten to your exit HESI yet. So you can get a chance to look at these things. And I just really hope that it helps you out the way it helped me. And congratulations on making it this far. God bless. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you're new to this channel please hit the subscribe button and keep on keeping on baby because I'm yet holding on still okay and I'm gonna keep on keeping on baby till next time bye y'all